back again with another Drum Technique Academy lesson. Today we're gonna watch four different clips from one of our teachers, Mr. Kevin Paradis. So in this first clip we're gonna watch right now, Kevin is talking about his double bass technique at high tempos. As you all know, Kevin is one of the few drummers who uses the regular ankle technique at tempos above 250 BPM and he's able to play for long periods of time. So if you're interested in that, just check out his double bass clips at 260 and 270 BPM where he plays for long periods of time. Right now in this first clip, he's gonna explain his foot technique at high tempos. Hey Kevin, as far as I can see, you are not using any swivel, so I guess you are using the same technique, ankle, like Martin. Yes, I am using ankle motion. Next question, how can you go faster than around 240 BPM? Well, thanks to the stamina runs at 220 BPM, as I've said just before, and also because I push more with my hips. It's like at 220 BPM, I'm really easy using just my ankles, and then I start to push way, way more with my hips. And the faster I, I, I go, the faster I push. A little bit like if I was trying to go back like this, you know, or if I was trying to stand up, you know. And I really, I'm really pushing with up here. And not with my upper leg, because otherwise this is disturbing me with my calves. So that is uh, my advice to play faster than 240 BPM. So the big takeaway of this one clip is that number one, he's using a static contraction in his upper leg. So he's not actively lifting his upper leg up and down. Static contraction, and he's applying constant pressure and he's quickly contracting and relaxing his calves. Okie dokie, now let's continue with the next clip. Uh, I've talked a lot already, I guess, about ankle motion and how to get started with this motion. What is the right muscles to use? So basically, calves muscle, hip flexor. You don't move the whole leg, but you just push with your hip flexor uh, and you move with your calves muscle. You just move the ankle. You try to avoid using your upper leg uh, muscles, especially everything around the knees. And you you begin with very small burst of strokes. With full leg motion, you can definitely start just on the floor doing some strokes like this. And you have to be really careful that your calves muscles are so relaxed that, than wh that, that when you go up with your hip, your heels go up. It's because I'm just really not using this muscle, so of course, my heels are going up and my toes still uh, are on the floor. And so you can just begin by doing this. And you can go a little bit faster, but just doing this, moving the whole leg. A little bit like if you were walking, but or you are just seated on a throne. And then you do the same thing on the bass drum pedal. And yeah. I guess, you know, that's it. And with, with full leg motion, it's kind of great to make stamina runs pretty soon. I mean, of course, it is great also to go to the kind of exercise way where you just play small birds. Of course, it is great to go through through that. But at some point, it's really great to, like, you, you, you take your click track at, I don't know, not th something not super fast, especially when you begin, like 110 is probably already pretty hard at the beginning. And you just do like this. And uh, you don't stop. You try different pattern with your hands because also you have to make a lot of progress with coordination at the beginning, and that's it. Big takeaways from that clip. Number one, endurance runs are vitally important. And number two, you have to learn how to separate between different muscle groups. And now let's watch the next clip. I feel tension and I lose control. I really don't know what to use between a mix of hip flexor and calf, or only hip flexor. And I think it's why I don't progress because I need to choose just one instead of changing over and over. When I use a mix of hip flexor and calf, I feel less tension, but it's more difficult to control, but don't seem impossible. 
1.5 years ago, I was able to play 140, 150 for a long period of time. But I didn't know what muscle and motion I was using. I was not thinking to it. And the troubles begin when I was trying to figure out what I was doing. So, yes, indeed, the problem is probably that you overthink um, the, the motion. And sometimes I'm trying to talk about what kind of muscle I am using. But the most important is to have the feeling of the motion. And it doesn't really matter if you know what kind of muscle you are using to do the motion. It's, in fact, really hard to know what kind of muscle you are using. And it's like, I, I am always discovering new stuff about, like, oh, okay, I thought I was using this muscle, but I am not. I'm using, in fact, another one. So sometimes when you try to understand exactly what you are doing, this is where you make a mistake, and then you try to practice with what you thought, uh, like that was the motion, and this is a mistake, and so you practice in the wrong way. But when you focus on the feeling of the motion, it's always easier, so don't, do not overthink, of course. But then when it comes to the full leg motion, it's definitely the hip flexors that you have to use, and no calf muscles, uh, like I've said. Uh, just before so you should really go back to like this full leg motion and just avoid also to play heel up because you don't have to to use this muscle so stay relaxed and that's it basically takeaways from that clip kevin is using a full leg motion for mid tempos activating his hip flexor and for the faster stuff it's just his calf muscle Alrighty, and now let's watch clip number four so hi Kevin, I was wondering if you had any tips or exercises to help stay relaxed playing double bass at higher tempo. I find that 230 plus I have a tendency to tense up which completely halts uh, my uh, momentum. So I've already given two advice uh, for that. The first advice is to do stamina, to stamina run a little bit slower than your maximum tempo in order to have the biggest motion possible to really keep the rebound and just to make sure that you can stay with the right motion as long as possible. If you feel like that after two minutes you are not doing the right motion, don't push yourself until five minutes, just stop. It has to be five minutes of the right motion. If it is not the right motion anymore, just stop. So first of all, stamina runs can help. Um, but then it's also to push with your hip flexor, uh, like I've said, and to avoid to use too much muscles uh, from your upper leg. Because these are the muscles that have a tendency maybe to tense a bit more than the other, to take a lot of energy, to work against the calves muscles. So most of the time it's really great when you push from up here and then you get the motion done. It's really like push with your hip, have your heel heels up a little bit to free your ankle and then use your calves to control the rebound and don't like keep the beaters stuck to the drum head but try to move them as much as possible because sometimes we we focused only like on the strokes so on the last centimeter of the of the motion but sometimes it's better to focus also on the rebound and try to have the beaters bouncing as much as possible because it's then more energy that comes from the spring and less from you so you can relax also a little bit uh, more so here are the three big takeaways from that final clip number one focus on tempo slightly below your maximum tempo and push those number two endurance is key and vitally important and number three try to increase the beta swing that way you're gonna be able to increase the tempo when you decrease the beta swing again Alrighty, and that's it for today's video. The clips we just showed you are like typical teaching clips that we release each week. So each week, one of our teachers at the Drum Technique Academy helps our students by answering their questions in video form and this way they are able to improve way faster. And that's it for today's video. If you want to watch this full lesson of Kevin Paradi, just join the Drum Sneak Academy. You can find that full one hour video in the bonus section of our membership zone. Have a great day. Cheers from Vienna. Bye bye.